Welcome back. Brittany and I are cooling down now from our heavy duty workout with the pumpkins. Yeah. Uh, just to remind you, Brittany Gibbons is the genius behind the curvygirlguide.com and BrittanyHerself.com. So you can always catch up with her online. And you actually, the first one that showed me this, Brittany, we're going to show in the monitor. Um, yes. This hit the news a little while ago here. This is uh, Jennifer Livingston. She's an anchor in La Crosse, Wisconsin, who fought back against a really nasty email about her weight from a viewer. And it has gone viral. I mean, yes. so many people have seen this. I mean, last this. night I think it had over a million views and it just broke yesterday. It just so. broke. So she she, um, she's talking about why the language that this guy's using maybe around his friends and family, calling her that fat anchor is, mm -hmm. is detrimental. What were your thoughts when you saw this anchor say, hey, I am fat, I am obese on this chart, but you don't get to be treating me this way. Exactly. What did you think? I immediately thought like, boom, there you go. That's exactly <laughs> like what crossed my mind. And she articulated exactly what I think so many women feel and it's funny, you know, bullying, it doesn't just happen in high schools or, or kids. Adults this is bullies. an adult. An adult wrote well, this. Well, and she says she's one of the worst choice. Obesity is one of the worst choices a person can make no, and calls her a bad role model well, for clearly, girls. I mean, she's an intelligent, successful, articulate woman. Beautiful and I think woman. she's beautiful. I so she's beautiful. I definitely wouldn't want my children watching her. Right, right. Such a he's terrible the, role model. He's the caliber of role model. <laughs> I'd much prefer my children to... So, and she comes out and says, uh, this isn't okay with me that you've emailed me this and your language is not, I mean, he doesn't say, you know, derogatory terms, but he's pretty, I don't know, mean, I guess the word is about yeah, he her was size. Very mean. Yeah. yeah. And she really, she got on air and did sort of an editorial about it, you know, live and, uh -huh. and kind of put him in his place. Yeah, never take down someone who communicates for a living. <laughs> yeah, don't, cause she's, don't attack especially her. in the media who can then go back. Yeah. <laughs> so she does a great job here, you think. Well, oh, what amazing. do you think would be amazing. a longer impact or a good outcome after all this? You know, she's been on Good Morning America and all the big shows and stuff. What do you think people could take away from her taking this public stand against someone who had this criticism of her figure? Right. I mean, I think that what's amazing is, you know, she's going to, probably maintain this right. weight and continue doing amazing things and I think she's just another positive role model for people who may not look like a stick, like thin, a stick model. thin model and, right and I think that's important especially for young girls um, I think she's an, an amazing role model and um, yeah I think that this is just a really great way I, I didn't have a single person have a negative reaction to her reaction no matter what size they were so I think she spoke to people who maybe didn't realize before what their language meant what their language meant. Well, and you've always, you're the most vocal activist, I think, in the country about the language that you use to describe our Correct. bodies and how other people frame our bodies. So uh, I, I saw it all over the place, but I saw it first on curvygirlguide.com. If you're not True. visiting True her story. site, you are missing it. I knew way ahead of everyone because of Brittany. All right, so now Brittany and I are going to do something that people yeah. love. It's called the pin test, where we, we take are. a pin and make, a, we see the inspiration, the pinspiration. I have so many puns. And we see if it really works. If we do it and like it, then you know it's something that is a good idea and you won't waste your time and money on. Yeah, right? Right. Okay, so we're staying with the pumpkin theme. Less sweaty Less pumpkin sweaty. situation going on. <laughs> so um, so let's see it's, the picture. It's the holidays. Yeah. This is what so you this saw. Is, this is what I saw. Um, somebody putting glitter on a pumpkin. It looked easy enough. Um, and we have pumpkins right now all over our house. All over. Right. They're inexpensive and they make everything seem so festive right now. So right. easy to find a pumpkin. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I involved my kids. They are um, three, five, and six. Mm -hmm. And uh, they tackled this. Actually, my daughter, my three-year-old made this one. And my five and six-year-old tag-teamed this one. That's beautiful. Um, I love the purple one. That's definitely a girl project. Yes, it's a girl project. And then I made this one, which was a little bit different. So I took their idea of of putting glue all over the pumpkin and sparkling, and I actually made kind of a design. I don't know if you can see, but it's sort of a wispy little design. I, it got a little bit addicting. Like it did. I, and I'm not crafty, so that says a lot. Okay, so, so what do we do? It's so easy. So basically, to make these all over glitter pumpkins, you just go to the craft store, and it's really cheap, and you can just buy spray adhesive. Because painting on glue is, is takes forever. Messy. Yeah, okay. especially if you're doing this with a kid, you don't want to give them a paintbrush with glue all over it. Right. As a rule, parenting rule number one. Okay. So, don't give them glue. Right. So you just spray it really quick. And I mean, it's it's so easy. It's not super fumey. No, it's not. No. Just the right amount of fumey. Just the right amount of fumey. <sighs> just to get you that excited a enough. A slight amount of huffing going on the in project. today's show. <laughs> okay. And then... Um, just making it so we can see it you real good. You just sort good. of attack it with the glitter. And it's literally that easy. Um, we kind of got creative, like this one is pink and purple, and this one actually is orange that fades into gold. 
We're basically like the Stewart family, I would imagine. <laughs> You're like Martha Stewart I'm like, Jr. I'm like, I know. I'm basically like her ingenue <laughs> of crafting. So it's just, it's so easy. And I mean, the kids did it for, I think it took 20 minutes maybe. And they, they still are obsessed with the pumpkins. We're buying more pumpkins today. To do more? To do more. But yeah, you just shake it. It's a little bit messy right there. But yeah, I mean, it's, you couldn't get easier than that. Okay. To do so the fun designs, mm -hmm. you would just get some craft glue. I got clear tacky glue because I figured it'd be all over me. Right, you were going to be wearing it. Yeah, so I actually just drew on the design I wanted. Okay. It's super easy. Can and we do I, this other one, Julie? Sure. All right, we'll do this one. We're going to take one of your pumpkins. Your pumpkins. Okay, yeah. we're going to do one more pumpkin because I think uh, it looks really cool. It does, and it's so easy. So you basically just draw your design on. Okay. You no, know, kind of wavy lines. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's really, was way easier than I thought. Then you just take a paintbrush and you paint that glue in, you know, to make it all adhesive. All glueish. Yeah, all gluey is a crafting term. That's a crafting term. Gluey. Okay, so you take so, yeah, your brush. You just take your brush and you bring all that glue in. You might need to add, you know, a little bit more in the... In there, in the crevasses? Yeah, in the crevices. Is it crevice or crevasse? Well, it's a French craft, so we're gonna go <laughs> with crevasse. So yeah, you just really just, and you can do any, it was just so easy. I. I just am not a crafter, as you know. So I, I know like, that's why it's a good I, thing. That's I why almost I like just wanted to like text you immediately and be like, "Look, what this I works." Did. Yeah, way better than that time we cut those animals in half. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a popular one. I know sawing animals in half <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out the way we thought. It was and we traumatized Oops, Brittany's sorry. kids. So you just then sprinkle the glue on it or the sprinkles on again. And shake. oh my gosh! And you're gonna have that fun you know, the fun design. The way you have it's it. It's so great, yep. And then you can stick on the bats. And, I love And all of the these bats. really fun things. And they're, we're having a Halloween party this year and it's, these are gonna be so cute. The kids are gonna make them and we're gonna decorate with them. And it'll be, it'll be your activity, right? Yeah, so it's a fun kid craft, but you can also make them kind of like classy and, and kitschy, you know, like. Yeah, classy. In style, yeah. So this is a huge pin win for us. Okay, and this is a repin. You will put this on your wall as yes. I recommend. Anybody can do this. I love my bats here. I love my bats. Okay, so I want to tell people a couple of different things. First of all, curvygirlguide.com mm -hmm. is the easy way to get a hold of you and Brittany, get, Brittany herself. Um, so your Pinterest board, which one do you have this on? The curvy girl one or the? I actually have this on a Halloween board. On a Halloween board. All right. Like so things I hope to achieve before the Halloween party. How I do you volunteered use, myself just, for? <laughs> how do you use your board when you have a Halloween party? Do you say, all right, every possible idea that I might want to try? Yeah. So I get a, it's all ambitious at first, and then I just whittle it down to realistically what I'm going to do the night before a Halloween The night party. before. Are you having a kid part? Oh, this, yeah. oh, take a look. I'm going to try this and we'll show you if this works. I love that. I have that pin too and I'm, I'm we should try a couple different ways to achieve it. Okay, because yeah. I had some ideas. I'm going to try this. I think this is a way to also traumatize Brittany's children, which is my goal apparently every week. <laughs> something that to put them in therapy is our goal. <laughs> and that is on both of our boards right now. Um, and actually speaking of the queen of all crafts, that's a Martha Stewart idea, I think. It is. Right? It is. We'll see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is on Brittany's board and on yeah. her Halloween board. If you want to do it, you, if we can do it, she can do it. Yes. Everyone can do it. Super easy. All right. That is our pin win for this week. Glitter pumpkins. Yes. Jazz hands. Glitter pumpkins. All right. When we come back, we're going to have some hot dogs. Stay with us. I uh, bought those at the dollar store. <laughs>